All right, what's going on? I'm out here in the breeding loft again, and I'm about to split up all the breeders and wean the rest of the young birds I have over here, as I said in the last video. But one thing I want to do is try to eliminate most of the dust that you see on the walls in here. So I'm going to get started, get my mask, see what we can do about that. So is there such thing as a dust-free loft? Well, chances are, if you had pigeons for a while, scrape your finger on the wall. There's gonna be a lot of dust on there. The ceiling, there's dust just everywhere. So, I'm gonna try something a little different that I haven't done in this loft yet, but I did do it in the racing loft a couple of years back, and it seemed to work pretty good to eliminate most of the dust. What I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna re-scrape everything as I cleaned it yesterday. I'm gonna vacuum everything. I got my shop vac outside here. And I have a bucket of water outside with a rag, kind of like a little sponge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some water and I'm just gonna kind of sponge the walls down and uh, sanitize it, bleach it, all that stuff and see how much dust they can eliminate in here. Okay, so I got my shop vac in here. I'm just gonna start by vacuuming all of the dander and the dust around the studs on the walls see how much I can get up with a vacuum and I'm going to follow that up with a bucket of water a sponge now I've owned pigeons for over 14 years and the biggest battle for me was all of this dust and the most major component in a keeping a dust free loft is a well ventilated loft as most of you already know but this loft isn't nearly as ventilated as the racing loft I have. I have the windows here, which let in air flowing this way. I've got a vent up there, and I've got one there, and as well as my screen doors, which let in plenty of air. But that's about it for this side. I don't have uh, open soffit panels, unfortunately, over here. So this seems to be the dustiest out of the two lofts. But uh, I'm going to try and get this all cleaned up and we'll see how much dust we can get out of here and hopefully it'll be pretty effective. All right, so I vacuumed as much as I could off the walls, all the loose feathers on the floor and the studs. So I got my step ladder here and I've got my bucket of water and I got this rag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on this side. So what I do is I take the rag, bring it out a bit, and I don't wanna soak the wet, I don't wanna soak the place up much. You know, it's nice and damp. Grab my step ladder. And I'll start up here. The ceiling. Just give everything a nice wipe. Studs, everything. Plywood. Whatever's coated with dust, and you'll start to see all the dust come off. You'll see the bare wood finish. Give this a couple of tips in the bucket. Just keep bringing it out. And I'll just repeat that process for the whole loft. Now I've only sponged down this one area, and if you take a look in the bucket, look at all that dust, all that just from this one area. So I've got quite a bit of work left to do here. I'm gonna try to do the whole loft. I'm gonna do the ceilings. I'm gonna do all the walls. I'm gonna do everything. And uh, try to get this as dust free as possible. What I've noticed is you've got all this dust stuck on the walls, you know, ton of dust. You know, it keeps accumulating, and as the birds fly around, more dust and more dust sticks to it, and it's, it doesn't just stay on the wall. It comes off the wall, it flies all over the place, and it's just a, it's a big mess. I just don't want to come out here and go in the house and be coughing and sneezing all night, and it's just a real, uh, it's a real pain in the ass. So if I get this as dust-free as possible, I'll be pretty happy. All right, 
so as you can see here, I got everything sponged down, whole ceiling, walls, vacuumed out nice and clean. All the pairs are separated. Same thing on the other side. Nice and clean. Very minimal dust in here right now. I know people are gonna watch this and say I'm crazy for going through all this to do, but one thing I learned from pigeons, you give them 100%, they'll give you 100%. Simply put, you get what you put into them, basically. Now, if you're gonna take care of them, do it 100%. And you'll be better off in the long run. So I'm gonna see how long this lasts. Maybe in the next week I'll do it again. I'll repeat the same process, but so far so good. You know, I got all the straw out of here and it's it's pretty nice. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty breathable now. It's healthy for the birds, healthy for me, of course. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Sanitized it, apple cider vinegar, bleached all the boxes out. And that's it. So I'm just gonna keep up on it. Keep it clean, clean the coop every other day. Keep the birds nice and healthy.